next year we got our 51cc limited four to eight main event we are off and underway for this one As these riders off and underway here in this one. Our 51cc 4 to 8 main event now. Looks like that early hole shot. Going to go to Darren Pine. Pine leading the way. Pine getting caught up a bit there in the sand section. First, second, and third. And Dave is back in the booth with us. Welcome, Dave. What's up, buddy? How you doing? That was your first time working with Ricky, huh? Second time. Where at? Daytona. Oh, I forgot about that. You did Daytona a couple years ago. That was cool. Yeah, it's fun. I worked with him. Uh, he came in the booth a couple times with us over the winter at uh, some of the Supercross Futures rounds and got to do that. So uh, good to come up here. He's, he's a big part of the sport still. He goes to uh, pretty much every race, as you know, with the TV package and... Uh, comes into the booth and uh, supports the supercross futures as well so you know 15 time uh, national champion and multi-time supercross champion and he sticks around and he loves the sport and uh, not just announcing he does so much other stuff and uh, it's good to have him around and, and be a face of the sport and uh, i believe uh, feld and uh, supercross futures family and supercross live everybody's happy with that he is at so many events it's pretty cool I'm sure these riders are stoked as well, especially Darren Pine, who's leading out front right now. Wyatt Thurman on the 247 in second. Karvasek in the number three spot. Cash Kane in the four. Matthew Cruz in the five. Bagley in the sixth spot. Dunham in the seven. Pochnik in the eight. Gick Schneider rounding out your top ten there. Look at this. Got a battle for the lead here. Wyatt Thurman around the outside right now. Is he going to be able to make it sticky? Cuts over, and he's done it. The outside line there. That's uh, first. You don't see that too often. I heard no. you guys talking about that inside line, too, up on the hill there. And uh, taking the... Over the finish line for lap number two in the books, Wyatt Thurman, Darren Pine. One and two, and Henry Buck Karvasek, who we were watching yesterday in practice, Mike. He was ripping on that 0 0 bike, and uh, he is in third currently. So, little mistake there from Darren Pine. Back in, slid it up just a bit, lost some time as the double zero of Karvasek closes the gap up on him. Karvasek was doubling through there in practice yesterday. So if he can get that rhythm back going, I think he'll close that gap right back up on Pine and maybe even Thurman out front. Wyatt Thurman is on a move here in this one. Out of Temecula, California. Look at the Darren Pine right now, the 58 Cobra rider. Out of Crosby, Texas, riding for B Mo B's Moto Lab. Through the sweeper section once again. Coming down Monster Alley. Back into the stadium now. Here comes the 58 machine. He's got traffic up ahead of him. The double zero. Karvasek in the number three spot. Right now Wyatt Thurman is really stretching out his lead here. 3.2 seconds here in this one. There's Thurman, the 247. Thurman taking that outside before the finish line. Thurman was actually jumping the entire finish line. Yes, and he does go. again. Thurman catching some big air here in this one. And that can make a big difference, especially in a class like this, when nobody else is doing those jumps and you do just one or two. That's a significant amount of time, lap after lap. And Thurman right now is making moves here on the 247. 4.5 second lead over Darren Pine, Henry Buck Carvasek, and Cash Kane in that four spot. Gage Dunham, Jacob Bagley in six, Travis Snyder in seven, Trace Tace Morgan in eighth, Maverick Snyder and Maddox Timmerman, your top ten, Mike. But here is the 247. Wyatt Thurman out front right now on a Temecula, California, the Yamaha mounted ride shift, 100% no. Mike, uh, Mika Metals, Temecula Motorsports helping him out. And that is him coming out of Monster Alley here. How about that sand section getting a little torn up here as they enter that section right there? You see all the ruts and to choose that fast, smooth line, right? Thurman right now doing a good job working his way through. You can see the braking bumps starting to form, too, on that outside. Up and over the tunnel he goes. So we'll have one more race after this, Mike. It'll be the women's class, and then we're going to have a track maintenance, a little break, half hour or so, and uh, clean up some of those sections. 
And uh, the couple times they did it yesterday really changed the track. So it'll be good. Uh, we'll have one more race, like I said, women coming up next. But uh, on the track right now are 51 limited, 4 to 8. Uh, race 14, race 15 will be our women. Then we'll have our track maintenance, and we'll see a little change in the track after that. Here is Thurman leading this one now. He has 7.5 seconds on Darren Pine, like you were talking about, doing some of those doubles, finish line, and just a couple of those combinations are making him uh, pull away right now. But look at that. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Into the stair step. <laughs> Ricky's going to go grab him and give him a card and say, hey, talk to me in a year or two. Thurman down Monster Alley around the outside now. Fast lap for Thurman is a 117. Darren Pine on the 58 Cobra turns a 120. Carbon Sack turns a 120.8. Cash Kane with a 124. And they come back to the sand right now. Your race leader has checked out here in this one. Almost a seven second lead at this point over Pine in second. Over the tunnel one more time. That rut's getting pretty deep in that corner. He takes the outside rut. There it is. Checker flag. It's Wyatt Thurman. What a ride. Let's see what the overall gap is. Darren Pine comes across next. 8.1 seconds back, but a good ride for Darren Pine. We'll give him a shout-out.